How's it going, fight fans? Welcome to Mind for Combat. If you're new to the channel, my name is Rohan, and this is my platform where I do fight sports related content. So if you're new here, why don't you help me grow my small little platform? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like it, and maybe hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. Now, if you guys are my regulars here, then I appreciate this is not going to be the kind of content that you usually come to my channel for. This channel is probably more familiar to you guys if you come here for MMA related content, boxing related content, even Muay Thai and kickboxing related content. But this is a bit different this time. Today I'm going to be covering the sport of sumo. And I've been, I was very selective in the name of uh, my channel when I've done it. It's Mindful Combat because I'm a big fan of all combat sports. And the sport of sumo is one that's most certainly seen in this day and age as almost as a bit of a novelty, certainly in the Western side of the world. It isn't really given the true respect that it deserves and I believe a lot of people don't feel like it is home or hosts any true level athletes. Just a couple of fat guys trying to push each other out for a ring, right? Well, it's not that simple. Um, for me, especially, I mean, if you put <laughs> if you put two guys in a gladiatorial or two competitors in a gladiatorial environment, face them off each other to determine who comes out on top, I'm likely going to enjoy that as a sport. I like BJJ, I like everything. But now when we're talking about sumo specifically, the sport of sumo, uh, sport of sumo wrestling is a legendary one and it goes all the way back to almost 2,000 years. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are into like Japanese literature and anything like that, but the Nihon Shoki, which is actually the second oldest um, piece of literature to come out of Japan, references the sport of sumo dating back to 12 BC. So that is incredibly old. Not I believe 23 BC actually so it's incredibly old we're talking a long long time ago almost 2,000 years now and essentially it was originally started off by an emperor an emperor who had these two guys do battle and the loser would obviously end up losing his life as the years went on it became a almost a traditional dance or between the years 1185 to get rains so that they could pray for a good harvest and then that's how they would um pray to the gods and talk a little bit um, uh, to the gods and, and, and hope for a good harvest to come off it. So it was very, very mystic in that sense. And in this day and age, coming all these years forward, sumo still exists as a, um, as a very regimented way of life and it has still got very uh, historical and philosophical way of living your life as a sumo wrestler. So everything from your dress, the way you dress to um, the way you live your life will be regimented. If you're a sumo wrestler, you have to live on the quarter that's with, with the other sumo wrestlers. You have to eat a certain way. You have to wear, wear a certain clothing. You've got to live your life in a way that is befitting and is honourable in line with a sumo particularly if you make it up in the ranks and you get recognized as a yokozuna so that goes to show you just the kind of level and deep-rooted culture it has as a sport and it's an absolutely incredible samurai type sport and if you guys have never looked into the history of sumo wrestling and are interested in me giving you guys a quick brief overview of the history of sumo wrestling i assure you i'm very happy to do that so comment below if that's something you guys want to see for this video in particular, keeping in line with my interesting character series in combat sports, I have gone with the legendary Hakuo Show. Now, you guys may, well, probably definitely haven't heard of this guy, but with the rich historical um, roots that sumo wrestling has, we may be living in the generation of the greatest sumo wrestler to ever do it. That is not hyperbole. That is not an exaggeration. Hakuo Show is absolutely sensational, and I know every generation has their great but Hakuo is incredible. By the way, before I talk uh, about Hakuo, just one more point. In sumo wrestling, what's also amazing is every other month they'll have something called the bar show in which all the top sumo wrestlers within their ranks, they will compete against each other over a 15 day period and they'll compete every single day. So your favorite athletes, you'll get to see them compete every single day for two weeks every other month. How amazing is that? Going back to Hakuo. Hakuo is still only 30 years old, 34 years old, which is getting older in terms of a sumo even though they are heavyweights but he's certainly getting older and he has started to slow down but he's still absolutely sensational so Hakuo Sho is a Mongolian sumo wrestler he made his debut in 2001 at the age of 22 he became only the second ever Mongolian and the fourth person um no the second ever Mongolian and the fourth person who was not Japanese to ever ascend to the Yokozuna rank. Being a Yokozuna is the top elite level of sumo wrestling that you can 
uh, achieve and consider it uh, winning a UFC world title. So he became only the second ever Mongolian and the fourth ever non-Japanese competitor in the sport of sumo to achieve the sumo rank. Moving on from there, some of his accolades are absolutely mind-blowing. So when we're talking about Hakuo, we're talking about a guy who has the most most top division wins um, in history. So that's bar shows what I was talking about. Winning a bar show is like winning a world championship in a sense. Um, it's, it's the top accolade that you can achieve in sumo, not rank accolade. And he's won 43 bar shows at the highest level of competition. So they break it down into um, categories of competition. And without going into all of it, he competes in the top category of the competition. And you've got to earn your way up the ranks to get to the top category. He's won the tournament 43 times. That's what Hakuwa has done. It's absolutely incredible. He's got the most career wins of any sumo wrestler to ever do it. He's got 1146 career wins. He's got the most top division wins. So in that top category, he has gotten the most wins of any other sumo wrestler to ever do it with 1,052 uh, wins in total. He's got the most tournaments as a ranked Yokozuna and most tournament wins as a ranked Yo Yokozuna. I believe he's got 74 tournaments as a ranked Yokozuna, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And he is the longest serving Yokozuna of all time. There has never been a Yokozuna who had, that has served for as long as Hakuo. Hakuo is incredible. His abilities, his talents are absolutely mind-blowing. I have actually got no doubt that if he was to make the transition to mixed martial arts, he would have incredible amounts of success. Even at 34 years old, that's how sensational Hakuo is. He is absolutely incredible. That's just some of his accolades. The sport of sumo is so deep and he may be the greatest sumo wrestler to ever do it. Guys, you guys should be checking it out. What's also interesting is I'm releasing this video on Thursday. As of this week, I believe it was on Monday this week. So on the 7th, 8th, on the 9th, on the 9th, um, they start a new bar show started. A new bar show started. So it is currently ongoing. So guys, just... Just YouTube it, check it out, check out Hakuo, check out Basho results, watch a video and tell me if you don't like it. Check it out and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. I appreciate this is a bit different. So I'm I'm willing to take on any feedback. It can be positive, it can be negative, you can tell me you don't want to see any more of these videos. Or if you're interested in learning a little bit more about sumo, then comment below and I'll happily do a brief overview of the history of sumo wrestling. And with the help of my great editor, shout out to you, Habib, we'll get um we'll we'll, we'll get some nice transitions and graphics in here to to just show you everything that's gone on maybe a little bit of the history and delve, delve into it a bit deeply i kind of touched on the subject here today and i was very conscious that you guys may not want to see this but i did want to i have uh, i did want to have the flexibility to show you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely check out hacker wall let me know if you are interested by this character in combat sports and let me know if you're impressed by his incredible accolades and you most certainly should be as always guys, I'm Rohan, thank you for watching and this is Mindful Combat.